It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Lanterns, the Emperor's Gifts, an expansion to the original Lanterns base game. Now, this one is going to introduce new ways of scoring into the fold and a couple of new actions you are allowed to take. So, I'm not going to be going over the original base game. I'm not going to be teaching you how to play Lanterns. If you do need to check that out, please go watch our video for that. But I'm just going to dive right in and tell you what comes in the box and tell you how it changes the original play. So here's what comes in the expansion box. You are going to get a new starting tile that looks like that. You're going to get some new tokens that are called gift tokens. You get some new dedication tokens that you're going to add into the existing ones from the base game. You get a little cheat sheet to help you out uh, as you play the game. And then you get all of these parts that are not all going to be in the game at the same time. Because what you do in this game, the way the game modifies uh, the base, is by having these cards shuffled up and then you draw two of them and you put them into play and depending on which ones came out it'll decide if any of these pieces are in play right now the pavilions are always in play these pavilions here and the gift tokens themselves the way it works is quite simple you are going to be earning these tokens to then turn around and spend those tokens on bonus activities it might be bonus points it might be bonus cards whatever it may be but the way that works is you have your starting tile here. As you play a new tile, you can always choose to add one of your pavilions to that. So let's say uh, this is my starting tile. I add a tile here. Let's say I am the red player. I'll put my red uh, pavilion there. And uh, if I'm sitting right here where I am right now, I'm going to earn my bonus red. I'm going to earn that uh, black card there. And for my pavilion being involved in that transaction, I'm going to get one of these gift tokens. Once I have enough of those gift tokens, I can on my turn spend them to take one of these special actions. All right. So that's enough to give you an idea. Let's uh, zoom in on these and let me show you what those special actions actually do. There are five of these Emperor cards. You can, depending on the ones that are, uh, have come up, take special actions. This one, for example, the end of turn dedication, you spend two of the gift tokens here, which is typical. They're all of them basically are going to force you to spend two. And you are going to be able to make a dedication at the end of your turn instead of at the beginning. So you can grab some cards, then do a dedication for one of these or whatever on the very same turn. This one here is going to allow you to spend two and rotate a tile. And down here below the uh, image, it tells you when it applies. So in this case, obviously, before you place a tile. You can rotate, place a tile after that, give yourself better bonuses. This one here allows you to spend some of your tokens to trade cards for better cards. So um, you are going to be spending these two and then making a regular exchange for a single one of the uh, original tokens, the wooden tokens, you can now get a wild card by giving up any other card. Or if you spend two of them, you can give up a card and get any other two cards. So it makes your trading better if you spend the gift tokens. Here we have one that gives you a whole new pile of dedication tiles. And they are right here. And the way you get these is, again, you spend your two gift tokens there. And you can acquire these either with five unique cards, a full house, so three and two, or five of a kind. So any of those combinations will work, and you do this instead of another regular dedication with the older tiles, okay? And then lastly, you have this one here where you are going to be using those uh, tokens. And quite simply, you spend your two uh, gift tokens there, and you can send in a token for a victory point. Or you can give up two for two victory points. And again, it's a way to get more victory points out of the tokens you would normally spend to swap cards for better cards. Well, you cannot directly turn those into victory points if you have what's needed. That's basically it. You're going to have two of these in the game 
at the beginning of the game and they are the same two for the entirety of the game. You use your pavilions to give yourself bonuses. In fact, someone playing next to your pavilion will also give you the bonuses. And by bonus, I mean getting the token here. So where you place them is very important. Also, there can never be two pavilions next to each other. And there's a couple of other tiny rules like that. But that's basically it. That's how you incorporate the Emperor's Gifts into the original Lantern. So let's go back up top and let me give you some final thoughts about this little expansion. So there you have it, a very simple, straightforward expansion to the original game, and that's really what it needed. I think it's uh, the, the, the strong point of the original game for me was always that it was a solid family weight game with a really clean design to it, and this expansion does not mess with that. I like it for that reason. It gives you new things to pursue, it gives you new things to think about, but they're straightforward. Nothing here takes the original game and messes with that winning formula, and that's the strongest point in the expansion. It introduces all these moving parts that are not all in the game at the same time. And so that works. I like having components that you're only going to be manipulating and dealing with if that special card is in your one game, which also means from game to game, you're going to get a little bit of a different feel. Now again, it's a very small expansion, which I guess would be my one negative. There's not a lot that was added to the game here you'll get a couple of new things uh, per game, and some of them are really, really simple, like rotating a tile is neat, but a very minor, uh, you know, rule change, very minor little power. But, again, on the other side of that coin, the game's really simple and straightforward, and so why would you want to take that and convolute it? Overall, I found this to be a very pleasant uh, expansion, to a game that I always thought was very pleasant. This game is very relaxing. It's a, it's a soothing experience I've always found it to be, and the expansion just enhances that original feeling. So, thumbs up from me for Lanterns, The Emperor's Gifts. Definitely check this one out if you're a big fan of the original. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.